The question I have today is from a friend in Mumbai who asked me, Hey Aparna, how can I declutter my mind? That's a great question, Vijita, and an appropriate one as well in the current present times. But before we understand how we declutter, let us understand why do we clutter in the first place? Hi there, I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. We all collect things for different reasons. We think we may need it someday. Maybe it has some sentimental value attached to it. Or sometimes maybe it is because you spent a lot of money and time in buying it that you do not want to dispose it of. Remember this episode from Friends where Monica buys these expensive shoes but she suffers, she, she goes through a lot of pain whenever she wears them but she wouldn't want to dispose it because it was really expensive. Similarly, we collect our thoughts. They come in from our experiences, from our memories and emotions. And sometimes these thoughts can be so many that we can become disoriented and defocused. You already know what happens when we lose focus, right? You're in a lot of anxiety, stress, overthinking, being there, done that. Decluttering your mind basically helps you bring your focus back in your life. It helps you ensure that you're not affected by the chatter up here. Although, let me be very clear that we cannot remove our thoughts. Only a brain dead person can do that. What we really need to do is to organize them properly. So, in order for us to declutter our mind and get our focus back, here's what we can do. The first thing is to recognize the clutter. First of all, let us recognize whether or not you are cluttered. For example, look around your space that you're sitting. Is there a messy desk? Are they piled up clothes? How is your environment around you? Pause this video right now and observe what is happening in your mind. As I was asking this question, are you reminded of any pending task? Perhaps an unfinished chore? Do you put things away until the last minute? Do you procrastinate? Do you multitask all the time? What are these thoughts doing to you? Awareness is the first step to any change. So recognize this clutter and its impact. The second thing you need to do is to stop self-pitying because when you are in the self-pity mode, you basically are magnifying your issue. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. And we've all been guilty of that, isn't it? And it's natural to feel that way because when you're super stressed and anxious, it's so easy to put the blame on somebody else and feel like a victim. So what do you do when you feel that? Take a deep breath. Nice, long and slow. It always helps. Believe me, those deep breaths will calm you down instantly. And once you're feeling slightly better, jump to the next step, which is to write it down. To be very very specific what your issue is what your complaint is the step is extremely crucial because unless and until you are putting your words to the issue that is going on in your head you will not be able to find a solution to it so the moment you write it down i am upset because of xyz reasons or i am upset with this person for this particular thing it sort of helps you tells you exactly what is bothering you and once that statement is very very specific and clear then you go to the next step which is to evaluate your solution now that you know the issue find out what can you do about it create some sort of a mind map is there a solution is that solution acceptable to you what are the options which way is the best way just evaluate all the paths until you get a definitive yes there's a popular q and a on bari that went viral some time ago the same thing works for the self-pitying thoughts as well once these things are clear and out of your head then go to the next step which is to take a time out. What do you love to do? Movies, music, talking to friends, playing with your pet. What makes you forget time? Do what helps you and live that moment. Once you're calm and rested, go back to the issue and see if it still bothers you. See if you can find a logical solution to it. If it doesn't, then maybe you can have a word with your mentor, with your friend or engage a life coach. When you declutter your mind, you'll have more time and energy to do positive and productive things. Decluttering will help you build the mental strength you need 
to become the best version of yourself. I hope I answered your question, Vijita, and I hope I gave you enough dope for you to help declutter your mind. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. If you find this video resourceful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll never miss any update from me.